Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper and today I would like to welcome you all back to Prison Architect Mega Max zooming out right there, it's fantastic, it's disorientating, it keeps everyone in the mood happy and content as we always are in this prison! Grey! These aren't really words that are necessarily brought together all too often. Anyway, last episode I did let you all know that I was going to do a little bit of background off-camera work with this extended cell block, I say extended, cell block B right here. We have constructed it and I've also done the walkways along here, along with the laundry room. I've got a little bit of a design right there, I need to keep these doors permanently open for the time being until I get myself some guards. Still haven't really done much when it comes to camera work just yet. I feel like my prison isn't really big enough. Look, I just want to put my money elsewhere. As you can see, we are below the million marker. And of course, we do wish to get ourselves some new prisoners soon. So opening ourselves up to that would probably be the best idea intake. Let's get 10 more prisoners. We're just sort of doing that on a per day basis. I didn't take any extras in while I was constructing this other cell block just because people probably do like the little little introductory bit that we usually do when we have new prisoners. Quite a few deliveries right here. Oh right, yeah, we have a bunch of lights in here because they weren't placed. I don't know why we didn't have the lights placed in there. I imagine our auto light functionality was accidentally clicked off. I imagine I may have misclicked. I'm assuming so. But anyway, oh yeah, something else we also need to do is connect this bit up with some power cables. We are most probably going to be, we're probably going to need some extra power, some extra power stations for these sections that we're inevitably going to have around here. Copying and pasting this all the way down here is going to be a pain, vice versa as well. Are we going to have another cell block? We're going to have another cell block right here and the same thing up there. Mostly it's the walkways and getting everyone to the canteen that's going to be a big problem. Quite a few people have commented. So I will go through them fairly quickly. Give the legendary prisoner a permanent punishment in solitary innkeeper. A reply to that was make sure you unlock with the lawyer. That is a good idea. I don't know if the solitary means that, you know, we can... Do we give them food? That's what I'm worrying about. Do they still have to go out to eat? Because that still means they're outside. Which isn't really ideal. I also probably should change these doors to be a little bit more potent. What I have been doing, though, is not prison grading. That's not what I want to do right now. In bureaucracy, I have got some tasers under underway, which I think is going to be very important when it comes to dealing with those legendary prisoners. So getting some of those out would definitely help out. Along with some body armor, just to give our guards a little bit more health, a lot more potency. Should be fantastic. Uh, taser rollout. So it extends the taser program so your regular guards may also carry tasers for defense. So this tasers allows your armed guards to carry tasers. I'd rather have taser rollout. We do need to get programs though, so we need to make ourselves a classroom as to where we put it. I don't really know. At the moment, it feels like the best course of action is to use these sections that we have in the middle as classrooms. However, I don't want to have a bunch of rooms connected up to this walkway right here because I don't want to add too much traffic. What I would like to do is probably have a connection in the middle right here. Maybe, do I have to connect to both of them though? That's a good point. I probably will. And then what I'll do from there is just make a bunch of rooms. Will they all be classrooms? Am I just going to have them all on that side as well? That's also a good point. I could have all the classrooms connected up to the, ca the canteen here. But then again, I don't want to really build in this space unless I'm going to extend. Well, I, I don't want to build in this space because I don't want to remove... What am I trying to say here? I want to future-proof myself. And if I build anything here that's important, it means I'm going to have to eventually demolish it if I don't have enough space with the canteen and I need to extend it. That's what I'm trying to say. Somehow. I need to also destroy these little sections right here. That would probably help me out quite a lot. So let's go ahead and do that. I haven't designated any of these cells yet. Just because I want to fill up all of these ones. We will have these bottom ones as solitary. Let's see... If we go to Demolish Wall, get that done. Hmm. Another comment, uh, do a search for weapons, that's a very good idea, I have not done that yet, what time is it? Oh yeah, another comment, yeah, they only need two hours sleep, yes, I, that annoys the hell out of me, it really does. <laughs> I don't know why only two hours, but yep, that's pretty much it, just two hours sleep. 
I don't need three hours, just get the two done. The hygiene's getting close to dire. It sort of jumps up fairly quickly. Food right, food right now. We have one in critical because the bastard's been playing up. Are you here? No, you've moved. Where's the bastard gone? Oh, he's probably in solitary. There he is. Oh, no, that's not him. Oh, no, this is him. Here we go. Stinger. Or the bastard. Um, he's in solitary for quite some time, but we want to make sure he's in solitary forever. But I don't know how food works. You yeah, know, we're just going to keep giving him food. And at the same time, is he just going to lash out all the time? Because the thing is, he has fearless. He's stokal, which means he doesn't... Oh, that's a good point. He's stokal. So he doesn't really care about being, le uh, about being in solitary forever. So that's good, right? That means it doesn't matter. It's just him having an inability to feast upon his enemies, which is not going to be great for us. Well, it's going to be great for us, I mean. But, you know, it might not be great for them, though. We need a lawyer, however, so we need to get this new office section put in. The lawyer can have this little crap heap of an office. <laughs> if they really want it, then they can have it. So we will make his double filing cabinet, because, of course, he's a lawyer. He's very busy. He needs two filing cabinets. Now, that's quite a lot of cabinets, okay? I mean, look, our warden has two, which means the lawyer... He's getting what he needs, and I like that. Oh, oh an autosave. Okay, that's quite surprising. Our security room isn't fully stocked up just yet. I do need to make myself an armory, which is going to be this section right here. In fact, what I need to do, because we have the staff room. If we go ahead and get ourselves a concrete walls, and just sort of do the same parameters that we have done with our, our staff room, just so it looks nice and orderly. Of course, we'll get rid of... Not get rid, but we'll make sure to have a doorway and also have it be a jail door. Just so it's quite difficult to get into it. I don't need to do a double jail door just because I think it's a bit weird. Since we already have so many so many barriers to get into the the security. Although, now that I'm looking at it... Oh no, okay, it doesn't matter. Getting to security is very difficult. You have to go through multiple doorways. The best way to do it will be from the canteen because you have the, the double staff doors. But whenever there's a shutdown, I'm pretty sure the jail doors close automatically. And then whoever, whichever guards are still left inside, well, they're very unlucky. Now, we're not going to have any armed guards just yet, but I would like to have an armory. Because I'm pretty sure you can get the tasers from there. So, if we go to armory, can you get a taser from here? Indoors, weapon rack, guard locker, table. Maybe not then. I don't know where you get tasers from. I recall before, I just sort of spawned with one, so we got a guard locker. To eat, does each guard have to have their own locker? I don't really know how that works. We got the weapon racks. There's a weapon there and a we weapon there. We've got a table. And then just sort of a bunch of guard lockers. Should be alright. Where are they getting all this stuff from? Do we have all of this already in the storage room? That's really weird. It just says guard locker. I don't know if each guard really do... Are they really going to need an individual logger? L logger. Locker. Because <laughs> that's quite a lot. Alright, there we go. So there's our armory. Probably could get another table in there. But that's fine for now. Food is being cooked up. Pretty sure their hygiene needs have been met. The bladder is all done. So at the moment, it's just exercise and family. Now, there was another comment. Oh, yeah. So let's see. When is it food time? So they've they've got lock up right now, which I think is the best time really to have a little bit of a rummage. So we're going to have a shakedown. Oh, wow. This is going... I mean, it's a good start. Oh, there we are. Found some items. Did we actually take them? I'm assuming they just disappear. If we search him again. Can we not search him again? A few sh Wait, a shower head. No, scissors. We got some scissors. I'm imagining that's due to people taking stuff from the infirmary. Got a phone somehow. How do they get a phone? They're probably smuggling things in. And I'm just not detecting them because I don't have any metal detectors. Probably should change that. I should have these poke out a little bit. And then I can have metal detectors through here. That would be a good idea. Let's change that ever so slightly. So I can have the doorways here and then the metal detectors can go through those little bits. It's quite a lot though. 
course, we're still sort of finishing up. It's free time right now. So we may just be running after some of them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, all of our armed guards, though, have armor on, which is really cool to see. Not armed guards, our normal guards. Why are there so many... I say so many drills. Two drills. I feel like that's quite a lot. No pickaxes, though, but plenty of scissors. So they're probably going to be fairly agitated. I imagine their comforts are... Okay, their comforts are not actually that bad. I don't know what kind of debuff really presents itself out of the needs tree. I feel like... I, I feel like privacy would usually be downgraded. Food seems to be sufficiently dealt with. Okay, we'll change that to free time. Food's still a bit of a problem. They're not going to eat. The food is there for them. Someone did comment saying that if I change it... Uh, hey, looking forward to seeing the rest of the prison build. Suggestion, add free time after eat time. This way, you'll still want to eat if they can. The, that way, they can still eat if they can. Hopefully. Also, I want a little bit of a longer... Actually, no, it should be yard time right after initial lockup after the shower. No, it should be it should be yard time first, then lock up. Although they'll probably have bladder to deal with, so really, tell you what, I have it afterwards. There we go. And then we will have like double lock up, and then time for eat. Time for eat. How are we doing right now on the old needs? Comfort is a big one, but we can deal with that with more lock up. What do we have right now? Lock up, good. So that should hopefully deal with it. And then it's just family and exercise. We do have yard time coming up. In fact, we'll change this free time to yard time and just move it around. And then we'll have this be lock up. No, this be lock up. This be yard time. It is raining though, so their clothes are going to go up. Which is a little bit, little bit bad, but oh well. Not much we can do about it. And by that, I mean there's actually lots we can do about it. Their comfort has just shot down a bit. That's because we put them in the yard time while it was um, raining. But there we are. They go back into the warmth. The clothing should be dealt with. Oh, the clothing. Oh, hello. According to some of our guards, a new radio host on the station the prisoners listen to has been saying a lot of things that are riling the inmate. Riling a the inmate up. Inmates up, okay. It might be worth removing the radios for the time being unless they start to take what he's saying seriously. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, we've got TVs. I do believe we have some radios down here, though. Okay, we'll dismantle them. I think it's meant to... Is it environment? Living in a dirty conditions? No, it's one of these. Recreation. Yeah, there we go. So radios help with recreation. But we have TVs for that, I suppose. What's going on here? Can we, like, escort him to a cell, please? That'd be great. I don't think we have any guards on call. We have one guard on call. I do need to buy some more guards. We got no people, didn't we? Oh, we do. There we go. We just don't have any guards. Okay. Let's get 50 guards. Okay. Hello, new people. Sean Fe Fletcher. Sentenced 23 years for armed robbery. Also perjury and kidnapping. He got kidnapping. Six years for kidnapping. Oh, but you know what? Armed robbery is a hell of a lot worse. 23 years. That's a life sentence for armed robbery. Didn't kill anyone, though, but he kidnapped someone. Nah, that's all right. I mean, six years... Uh, <laughs> it's still a little while, but not that long when you when you compare it. Warren Shopland... Sh Shopland, anyway. Sentenced to 16 years for multiple crimes, including aggravated assault and perjury. Fantastic. I can't select you, sir. I need to tab through you. There we go. Matthew the Geek. Whatever your second name is. Being a game warden, Matt decided to bend the rules and went on a murdering spree of his fellow, of his fellow game wardens and his wife, and his wife, sentenced to 43 years for multiple crimes, including armed robbery and armed robbery. Not murder, though. I don't. Why not murder? Benjamin Barry. <laughs> the story of Benjamin Barry, sentenced to 23 years for murder. 25 years for murder. There we go. 25 years for murder. Sentenced to 20 years for multiple crimes, including rape, perjury, and perjury. You got 11 years for rape? That's so low. <laughs> what the hell? I don't get it. 
Plea, not gu guilty. I know, I didn't know they had pleas. Did all of them just plea, not guilty? Not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. More murder. Was arrested on behalf of the Shadow Proclamation Article 24 for badly impersonating a tree. You know what? That is murder. <laughs> Trees are people too, you know. Sentenced to 40 years for model crimes including armed robbery, burglary, and robbery. 18 years for armed robbery. 18 years armed robbery, 11 years rape. I don't get it. Sentenced to 30 years multiple crime crimes including armed robbery, burglary, and perjury. Oh, great. Sentenced to 29 years multiple crimes including rape, assault, and perjury. 13 years for your rape. I don't know why your one is 13 instead of 11, but there we go. Stephen Cates. I didn't read the other guy's names. Lanley. <laughs> Up at the old Lanley. John Marble. Marples. Marbles? Mark Treeman. Treeman again. And Christopher Bray. Sentenced to 19 years for model crimes, including torture and torture. Double torture! But you know what? This torture is just a little bit worse than this one. Why the hell not? I need specifics, people. I can't be living this life. Right, so we will move these jail doors. So we'll just dismantle them. And we will get ourselves a double jail door. One here and one here. Oh. Right, there we are. Fantastic. This guy keeps getting banged on the head. Why the hell not? I don't know why it's up to the guards to change the uniforms. Seems a bit weird to me. Right, now what we will do is get ourselves some metal detectors. We're not going to put them all around. That door's really... Gonna, it's going to kill me. I'm not going to put metal detectors everywhere just yet. It's just going to be for the initial awakening, as it were. It's for the awakening. Oh. What's going on down there? I wonder what was wrong with him. What do you have right now? Just riled up. Oh, right. That's the debuff for the, the radio. Do we have all the radios down? Oh, no. We got some here. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. So we should be good after that. Just a mile, minor rile up. Ah, there we go. Of course, then again, we do strip search them, don't we? So... That's a good point. Do we need metal detectors here? Because I did forget. We do just search them straight up. Ah, eh, we'll see what happens. I can always get... I can always just move them somewhere else. But it is something I did just forget about. We do have a bunch of cell blocks over here that are free. So I don't know why we're taking so long to give these people places to live. If you call it living, I don't. What's going on here? Why are you two both really... Gang member? Gang member? Oh no, the gang thing. So we got some gangs. We got one gang member. I don't know how to deal with gangs in this. It's going to be quite interesting. Tell you what I should do before we finish off this episode for today. I need to move our laundromat over to this room right here. So I'm going to start off with this one. I've got a nice marble border with some tiles in the middle. And there's plenty of room for us to get a decent amount done. So I'm going to dismantle everything that we have right here. Let's get the game running in the background as well. Get the game running in the background. Round. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Just ever. And we will also remove this as a room. And we'll just have it be an infirmary. Uh, infirmary. There we go. And then the laundry can be in this room. Hello, Merv. How are we this fine day? Right, and now we can get a few more of these. So we will get five of them in the middle. And then just a hell of a lot of these in the corners. And then in the middle, we can get ourselves some ironing boards. Oh, it's perfect. Now, do we need this much? Probably not. But it does look cool. So... <laughs> So there we are. And also at some point we can get the, the prisoners to do a little bit of laundry work themselves. Oh! 
Rile up. What's going on with the needs right now? Some of them are in critical condition, most probably because they are acting up, probably because of the rile up down buff. Pretty cool event. That's something that I'm not used to. It just, it just seems to be a random event. Uh, environment is also a big problem all of a sudden. I think it's because of all the bloodshed. Have we lost any... Where are all our cleaners? Apparently a lot of them are tired. How many guards do we have chilling out in here? We don't need that many guards in here. Let's get rid of one of the guards there as well. Just trying to make more guards sort of free. Oh. Tell you what, we'll have one guard in here. Having one in there would probably help me out quite significantly. Now hopefully the next bunch of prisoners that we get is going to significantly increase our budget so that we can actually go over the daily cash flow. As to whether or not it will, I don't really know. Food is a big one now. We we'll go over to needs. Oh, no, not needs. Schedule. No, regime. There we go. Yep, feeding time is coming. So just wait for it. Sleep is also a big one. And there's just sort of a bunch of random needs here and there. Most of them are in critical because obviously they've been acting up, which is not great. But that's only some of them, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Freedom is a big one as well. Nope, bollocks. Shit, man. This went to shit very quickly. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? I got rid of all the radios. A bunch of them just lashed out out of nowhere. Free deaths. I hate it when that happens in this game. <laughs> it just it just comes out of nowhere. At the moment, all of them don't... Like, all their needs all of a sudden just need to be met. I don't know why. Obviously, I can't do all of them, though. I've given them free time, so they should be able to deal with their needs if they see fit. But they're not... Go to, go to yard. See, the odd thing is, some of them are riled up over what other people are dealing with. See, look, none of these are really getting fulfilled because none of them really have the, the current markup. Like, their needs have been met, but they're all getting riled up for some reason. Like, what do you need? You need drugs. Okay, good. I can't give you those. Better clothing. Their freedom is really bad right now. None of their needs are being fulfilled. I don't get it. I'm really stuck. It's lock up now, which may deal with sleep and comfort. But there we are. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I'll see if I can deal with this before next episode. Till then, like, share, and subscribe with that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter. For updates on my channel and uh, Twitch for live streams. What the hell? I don't get this game. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I ever will. Until then, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.